This video reviews the technical way to find a solution to an equation using what are called iterations. And this just talks through the steps to use this method to find a solution. And what you'll observe is we're given this slightly bizarre formula called an iteration and what's called a starting point to solve the iteration. Now again, this does not show why the method works, but it shows how to apply the method to get a solution to the equation. Now on a calculator, to get the solution, we have to do two steps. Now, step one is a really, really important one, is we enter this value, x1, it's our first term in the iteration, into our calculator and press enter or equals and that stores the number 2 as the value to begin the iteration with. Now that number can change but you're always given a first term to use for the iteration. Now step 2 is then really really simple we enter this iteration formula into the calculator, but replace the xn by the ans on the calculator. So if I enter it out, I'll have a 3 over a 5 minus an ans squared. Now on my calculator, I'll push the fraction button, if you can just see this, I put the 3 on the top, I go below, and put 5 minus ans squared. So that has now been entered into the calculator. Now we now then do some really, really, really simple things. And this is almost good about the examination. We press equals on our calculator. We began with 2, and when you press enter, you get the answer for really which I'll write down. We now keep on pressing enter over and over again. And every time you press enter, a new value will appear on your display. And I'm just writing down now all the things which appear. And what happens very quickly is that these numbers stop changing. And get stuck at a certain value. And when you get to this point where they've stopped changing and you press enter over and over again then that value which you get to is called the solution to the equation. So you press enter over and over again until it stops changing. And that is the answer. And the question asked for your answer to three decimal places. So my solution will be 0 0.657 to 3dp. And once again, to show this on the calculator, I put in 2 and press enter. I then enter, enter the formula, 3 over 5 minus n squared. And I then press enter. And what appears on the calculator are each of the numbers. And they gradually start to converge to an answer. I can press enter lots of times and eventually it stops changing. <clears throat> and that is called the solution, which I then wrote down to 3dp within my exam solution.